Hey guys, it's me, some guy, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an actual good player model that's fully rigged, so you can move around your arms. Uh, also, thanks to Flimsy VR, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make this video. All credits goes to him, because he's the reason I'm making this video. So let's get into it. Alright, if you don't already have Blender, it's in the description of this video. So once you're in Blender, you just click on this. If you don't know what I'm clicking, it's right here in the bottom, it shows you what I'm clicking. So once you're in Blender, you just want to do A, and then X, and then just click Delete. Then Shift, A, then this little menu will pop up. Click Mesh, and then click Cube right here. Then it will just be a little cube. Um, you want to go to this blue wrench icon right here, and click Add Modifier. And in the modifier right here under generate, you want to click subdivision surface. And it'll turn out like this. Don't do anything, don't change this or anything. Just go to file, export, and then click FBX and export it to where you want to export it. For me, I've already made a folder, so I'm just gonna export it there. So I have this folder called player model tutorial. I'm just gonna call this ball. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it ball. Then you want to click export FBX. Then you want to click on this one that you made right here, and then you X, delete. Then you do file, and then instead of export, you want to do import FBX. And just click it, and then you import the one where you put it. So mine's right here, ball, and just click import. And it will be right here. And then if you click tab, you'll see that there's blue lines now. Back then they wouldn't be able to do this because it would still be a cube. But now I can do this. And now you want to flatten the sides. So make sure you're on this. If you're not, just click one and it will automatically go to this mode. Then you just want to click these edges and you want to push them in. So I'm going to do that. GY, push that in. Then GZ, push that in like that. This GY, push that in. And this GZ, push it in. You just want to do it for um, as many sides as you want. Um, the more flat it is, the more roundish it is. So if it's like this, for example, it looks kind of cubish, but also roundish. So I'll be back when I'm done. All right, now I'm done. And you just want to click tab to get out of edit mode. Then you should have this little weird cube. Then you just want to click on the wrench again, then add modifier. And you want to add subdivision surface again. Once you click that, it looks a little, a little cubish and a little bit round. Kind of like Capuchin's player model. And so now this is going to be the little torso, the body. Then you want to do Shift and then D. Then you click Z and you just drag it up like that. And so now this is going to be the head and this is going to be the body. So I'm just going to click this and I'm just going to scale it. So S, Z. Drag it up like this. And now it looks like a little body. GZ, drag it down. Again, if you don't know what I'm clicking, because I'm getting tired of saying it, just check this little menu down here. It shows you exactly what I'm clicking. So you want to scale the head down. You don't want to make it the same size as the body, because then it looks a little weird. So you just got to get it to the right size. Like, this looks decent. Um, you can make it a little smaller. That looks good, so I'm going to do Shift to D to duplicate again. Just want to duplicate and then scale that down. Then you want to click on the Rotate tool. Then hold Control and then use the red one. And it's a little snappy, which makes it a little perfect to rotate. So it's not like a little up or a little down. So I'm just going to go to the side view. Um, I'm just trying to make it look decent, like that I guess, that looks a little too big, 
I just want to scale it that way, so S, Y, you just do like that, and then just G, Y, and move it like this. You can make this uh, wider if you want, I am, because if it's a little too short, your player model is going to be really short in-game. And people will be able to extend their arms really long well, because the player model is really small. So, I just want to make these arms pretty long. So, I'd say about that is good. You just duplicate it. I'm just gonna go like this. And now you have two little arms. So,. You can scale this to however much you want. I feel like that's good. So now you just select these two. Shift D. And you want to make it the other way. And you just do the same thing as from last time. Control and rotate it until it's perfect. Like that. I'm gonna try to replicate this so it's pretty much lining up. So that looks good. And now we're gonna make the hand for the player model. This won't be like one of those shitty hands. Nice it's gonna be a really good hand model that looks just, or well, pretty much exactly like the Puchin, if you follow my steps. So before making the hand, you just wanna go over here to this little tab over here, where it has all the cubes. Then on the eyes, you just wanna do all of these on them. Don't do it on the collection because then everything will disappear and you won't be able to see it. So you just want to do it on everything else. You want to do shift A, mesh, then cube. It's going to be another cube for the hand. Um, So you can just like scale that down if you want. I'm just going to keep it like this. I forgot to mention before we actually make the hand, this is important. So you want to click edit right here on top. Then you want to click preferences. And then this little menu will pop up. It's called Blender Preferences. You want to make sure you're on the Add-ons tab, and then in the search bar type in Loop, and then you want to find this Loop Tools. Make sure it is checked, and if you have it checked and it's all good, you can close out of this now. And now we can start to making the hand. Alright, so now with the cube we made, we're going to go to Edit Mode like this. Then you want to click on this little face thing, and you can just tap 3 on your keyboard to get it. And then you just want to click on the top right here. Then with this, you just want to drag it down like like that. And now you just want to do A to select everything. And you just right click. Then you want to click this, subdivide. And now every face will have like four little sides. Then you click A to select everything. And then you click on this, so I'm just going to click one. Then do that, and then right click, and then click like smooth vertices, it smoothens them out like this. And now you want to click right here with the smooth vertices, and smoothing just drags all the way up. And you just can click that and close out of it. And now you just want to go to like the front view, so this is mine. Then with the second tool, this one right here, so this one, you want to select these two, and then click scale right here and just flatten them until they're like completely flat like this. Then you just want to go to this, the first tool. Then you just want to zoom in and just drag this all the way up like that. And it should be something like this where they're all going up and not just the middle one. And now you just want to, you want to go out of that and then just, you want to subdivide it like this and now it should be all smoothened out like that. And now you want to Use the third tool, front face view, select these four, then you just right click. Then this is where we use loop tools, you want to hold on loop tools, no. loop tools and then click flatten, it flattens it. And now, um, you just go to the top view, um, you're gonna go to this wireframe mode, and then with the third tool selected you just want to choose the other side, make sure it's all selected. You just do X and then click faces and now the faces are deleted. I go back to the original mode and you'll have like 
half the little circle that you had before. And now you want to go select these front two after you deleted the other ones. And you go to top view. And I go like this. Oh, whatever. Now you just want to do R to rotate. And you want to rotate it a little bit sideways. Like that. And then you just do E. And you just extrude. And now you're going to have like a little finger. And you want to keep on having these selected. And then you want to add another modifier. And that modifier is the mirror. And you just add it. As you can see, it's basically just the other side completed again. And you also want to turn on clipping. Then after you're done, you just want to go back to object mode. Then right here, you want to click this little arrow and just click apply. And now you have like a little hand. Go back to it. Go back to edit mode, now it's one whole thing instead of only one side. And your hand's gonna look a little weird, but before I do anything, I'm just gonna scale it down. But it's still gonna look weird, so with the face select, you wanna click the top of the fingers. And you wanna push them down so that they look like that. And then in this uh, menu over here, you want to select this one where it's like a line, it's called loop cut. You put it in between the fingers and it should make like a little square kind of thing. You just want to do it on both. And then go back to the normal select. And with the second tool still selected, you just do Alt Shift. Then you click on this one and you want to do Control B. And as you can see, you want to make it a little small like that. And then you just want to you drag it up and down until you have it somewhere you like. Uh, that looks good, I guess. And you can make these shorter if you want. Like, for example, like that. I'm gonna make them like that. But I'm also gonna scale them down. And you also wanna rotate them so they're facing down. And then you just wanna move them down a little bit like that. Not too much. And you should have a little slightly thick fingers, but... We're gonna fix it in a moment. And now we're gonna make the thumb. So on the third tool, you wanna select these faces, which is where the thumb will be. Right click, loop tools, flatten, and then just go to like a top view and rotate it so it's going that way and not like down. So I'm just gonna like that, not too much. And then in here, I just wanna rotate it sideways. I just wanna pull it out a little bit like that. And then you just wanna do E to extrude it. I just want to pull it out. It will look really bad, but it will get better. Um, right now this is just, well, it's just like a little shitty thumb. You'd want to do S to scale like that. You want to drag it down a little bit. You want to rotate it down. You want to like mess around this. You just want to drag the thumb down like that. And now to make it seem like capuchins, you have to do something specific. I'm just gonna rotate it like that. You can also rotate it down a little bit more. It looks a little fat, so I'm just gonna go like that. Then I'm just gonna like that. And then as you can see, it looks way better. But to make it seem just like capuchins, you want to go back to the loop cut tool. And you want to do it on the thumb and then it will do that. Go back to normal select and then you'll have this. Now this step matters in order to make it actually seem like capuchins. You want to do... You want to make it up. So G Y. And as you can see, now it's curved and it looks just like capuchins. It no longer looks like a little shitty, uh, fucked up fat thumb. As you can see, now that looks really good and just like capuchins. I wouldn't recommend doing it too much, because then you end up with something like that. Um, it actually looks pretty decent, but capuchins isn't like that. It's more like this. And so now you have capuchin, really well-made thumb. And now to make your fingers seem a little less obese, you want to select the third tool and then you want to click the little x-ray thing. 
and you want to select the sides of the fingers, these, and only these. So it's a little hard to select them. Um, so I'm just gonna try my absolute best. You wanna select these sides of the fingers. This is really hard to do, but once you do it, it's worth it because the fingers look way better than before. And so now, yeah, that's them. And then you wanna go to the scale tool. And with the red, you just wanna go like this. And that makes your fingers less closer to each other. I'm gonna go like that. I just wanna do it until you like the way it looks. This will most likely take a while because of the selecting. You can go into the x-ray or you can just do it on the normal material thing. And your fingers will still look a little chubby but that's fine. Second tool, alt, select, alt, shift, and just click these. And then you just kind of want to like use the red one and bring them in a little. You can go like that, make them not too big. You can like rotate them a little bit. And I'm just gonna make this side a little less fatter. Like that. Um, so you just kind of want to mess around until you have like a really good hand model that looks really good. Like this. It looks just pretty much like capuchins. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. Um, you want to go into the edit mode in the hand. You want to click the first tool. Then you want to click this little metal point right here and then you just want to drag it up. This will be the palm because if you look at your hand, in the middle it's not like completely flat, it points a little up. You want to do that. And also on the top side, if you want, I am, you want to pull it up a little bit because your hand points up a little bit and your fingers are down. And so, just like that, you have a really good hand model. So now you can make all the other parts visible. And your hand model will most likely be gigantic, so you just want to scale that down. And now, there is a problem that is really easy to fix, because, like, oh no, the hand, um, it's gonna be inverted and all that shit. Once I rotate it, so let me scale it. Now the problem is if you duplicate it, go to the other side, if you rotate it like this, it's not the way you want it to be. So you want to undo that, you still want to duplicate it, you want to select the hand, you want to go to this orange tab right here, and in the scale X, Y, and Z, they all should be positive numbers, and then every single one in the beginning, you just put in a negative sign. This will invert it, so now I can go like this on mesh. Now right here in normals, you click flip, and, and well now it has a little palm right there, and it's not the wrong way. You can just do G Y and drag it right there can see now your little player model has really good hands that don't look like pure fucking uh, shit uh and now that we have pretty much the model done what you want to do now is you actually want to export it so export fbx i'm just gonna call this not finished player model you want to export it you just want to do a and delete everything that's in here, so AX. Then you just click File, Import, FBX, and then you get the not finished player mode. And now if you go to edit mode, as you can see, you can actually select the faces instead of it being like a little uh, fucked up cube. And now this part is gonna matter, so you wanna go to the head, tab, then face select, and you wanna click this bottom mouth area. If I click subdivide, then you want to select these right here. Now this is to make it like a capuchin, because the capuchin player model has like a little mouth that points out. So we're going to do that, GX. Point it out a little bit. 
And as you can see, now looks like capuchins, where the mouth pokes out. And if you want, you could also do it on the stomach. You obviously just subdivide and you just choose like the middle GX. This is to make the player model like a little bit fatter, but I don't like that. I'm just gonna keep it as that. And and now we can actually move on to the texturing. And now, so we can actually texture everything. You want to click on the body, which is where you want everything to be joined. So you press, and then you do A, right click. When you right click, there should be a menu. They just want to click join, but for some reason I can't see it. So I'm just going to do Control J to join. And so now your play model is one piece instead of separate parts. And this allows for us to rig it and add textures to it. Now, if you want, you can keep the player model to look like this, a little bit cubish. But if you want it to look good, you can do right click and there should be an option that says shade smooth. Um, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, right here, shade smooth. And it just becomes way more smoother. Um, you can keep it like this, but me, I'm just gonna shade it smooth so it looks way better in game. And the high end model isn't like cubic and it's actually smooth. And it just looks pretty good overall. The little bump is still there, slightly visible. Now, if you already have textures, good for you, but now we're gonna move on to the texturing. So, in edit mode, you click A for everything. Then you go to this red bar on this side. Then you wanna click new, and then plus, and then new, and then plus new. And these will be three separate textures. This one will be the whole body, like the fur. This one will be the stomach fur, so like the color of the stomach. And this will be the face of the monkey. And I'm just gonna rename that. So. Body fur. And this is gonna be stomach fur. It's gonna be the face. Now you wanna go to the body fur, then you wanna click base color and you want to click on this yellow dot and you want to click image texture then the image the player monkey right up, turn completely black but then you want to click open and find your image for your body first so I'm just gonna go do that So it's gonna be this right here. Then, as you can see, the whole body turns into that. I just wanna do A, and you go to UV editing. And here, I just wanna scroll and click on this little ball. You wanna do A here, I just wanna click right click. UV unwrap faces, small UV project. You can set this to like five something I just click OK and here will be everything now you can set it to the way you want you can scale it for it to become like that you have to see if it looks good on your hand model I'm gonna scale it let's say that looks about good and so go back to layout Stomach fur, that's base color, image texture, and then just get your image. Mine's this one right here. Open image. I'm gonna do for the face. This is gonna be my face right here. Now we go back to UV editing. And you wanna select the part that's gonna have the stomach's fur, which is gonna be this right here, the stomach. And then you just want to change this to a picture of, well, the stomach. And stomach fur, you want to click make sure it's on the face select and make sure it's your stomach. Then click assign. Then on this side, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to rotate it like this. You 
can rotate you can rotate it the way you want it to flow. I'm gonna make it like this. I'm gonna go like that. And now you have a decent little stomach fur. And then for the face it's gonna be a little hard because we're gonna trim it out so it actually only selects the face. So that's gonna be a little harder to do than this. So, so you wanna go back to UV editing, select your face of your little player model. Mine's this. I'm gonna switch it to the picture of my actual monkey. Select it's all fucked up, right click, unwrap. It turns into that, so I'm gonna click face, assign. And you wanna fit this square around your monkey model. You wanna rotate it to the way that your actual monkey player model is. Like this. Just gonna... however you want. I don't want to make it too big or too small. Alright, I'd say that looks decent. And where the mouth is, I can tell that this is the mouth because it's subdivided. You want to make sure that's actually near your mouth, so like this for me. The mouth area is right here around the nose and the mouth of the monkey. You wanna go and your monkey face will look a little bit fucked up because of all the fur surrounding it. But it's gonna be fine because we're gonna cut around it so they can't see the other parts and they can only see the face of the monkey. So you wanna click this and then you wanna click image editor. My bad, it's actually the UV editor. Now in here you just wanna click open and find the image of your face. So mine's this one, and then it will pop up here. Click edit, and then the face will be selected. You can make this bigger if you want. And now we can actually start to cutting the face. So you want to go on this side, and right here underneath the loop cut that we're using, you want to choose the one underneath, which is called knife. And here we're going to cut around the face. And you want to keep a little bit of the outer fur, um, so you can start cutting. Um, I would cut it very carefully, so it actually looks good. But since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to cut it pretty bad, so you just go like this. And once you're done cutting, you just want to click that, and then you just click enter. And you go back to the selection and now it will be cut and with the face you want to select unselect and you want to choose every part that actually isn't the face select the parts that are not going to be the face like these parts you want to select everything but the actual face so I'm just gonna select all of these, like that. And now you'll see it's every single one except for the actual face. Then you click body fur, and you click assign. And so now it's it just seems like a little face of your monkey. And that looks way better than before. Um, I would recommend messing around with it because it actually doesn't really fit in with the other fur around it, so I'm gonna show you how to mess around with it so it looks way better. I'm gonna go to UV editing, you wanna click that. You wanna go to the body fur and just scale it until it'll you wanna make it small, you wanna shrink it so that you can like blend in with the outer fur. gonna keep doing it until it looks good. Alright, so it looks decent now. Now we can move on to the rigging so you can move the arms and the fingers and all that stuff. Alright, now time for the rigging. So, we can just switch this back to the... I think it was this? 
Yeah, it was. And I want to do shift A, and you just go to armature. You won't see it, so what you want to do is you go to this little person right here. And then what you want, you go to the bone. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Nice you job. Display. Then in front, make sure that's checked, and you tab for edit mode. Select everything, and just drag it down to like here. Scale it down. And I'm just gonna drag this up to about there. Now you wanna make a neck and a head, so let me just do that. E to extrude. And you just do that. This is gonna be the neck. E again. That's the head. And now we're gonna do the arms, so E and just drag it down to like there. I'm gonna do E Y. I just wanna do it like that. E Y. Then up to here to the hand. Now we are gonna name the bones, but first we're just doing them because it's easier to name them after you've made them. And we're gonna do E, Y, we're gonna do that, and then stop like right here. This is gonna be the hand, this is just the forearm. So you wanna go to this ball right here, then you do E. We're gonna do the thumb, so there. You wanna do about three bones for each finger, so like that. Or well, four, I guess. And once you're done with the thumb, you can just do this finger. So like that. EY. EY. And EY. And you just do it for the little pinky. And that's gonna be the hand. Um, next video will show you how to like make it so you can animate so you can like do a thumbs up in game and it's gonna be visible to everyone so it's not client sided so everyone can see your fingers move so we're gonna make it networked but that's for next video which should come out like maybe an hour after this one because it's super easy to do and now we're gonna do the other arm you just want to do what you did for this arm, but with the other. So I'm just going to fast forward to when I'm done. And now that you're done rigging, you can do two things. You can either name only the hands, so when you animate them it's easy to know which one is which. Or you can name everything, I'm going to name everything, because I want to, so. And then this is the left hand. And to make it easier so I know which finger is which when you're animating them, so I like make them move, I'm gonna call this left thumb zero, and then left thumb. You don't have to do like uppercase letters like how I am, I just wanna do the same but with the other fingers, so. This is the left index zero. And the same with the pinky or the grip button thing. I don't know. Left pinky zero. We just do the same thing for the others. I have the left side done. Now it's time for the right side. So just do the same thing that you did, but instead of it being left, it's right. So and now once you're done naming, you just want to go to a top view. Oh, it's wrong, but you want to select these right here. These two. The ones that connect the little forearms. So you want to select both of them. You want to do E, X. You want it to be facing the way that your character is facing. So not backwards. You want it to be looking the same way as your player model is going to be looking over there. So. And once you've done that, you want to do it, but for the wrists, so these. But instead of facing the face, it's going to be going backwards, so E, X. It's going to be facing.
facing the other way. And now with all the new bones that you made, it's only the ones that are not like actually the farm arms. It's all of these. You just want to go to this bone icon and make sure that all of these have deform off. You just want to take off deform on all the new ones that you just made. Then um, also you want to do Alt P. Now you want to click Clear Parent. You do it for the others. Alt P Clear Parent. P, clear parent and alt p clear parent then with the ones that are facing the same way as your character you just want to drag them out not too much like about there uh, yeah that looks decent and i'm just gonna name these so i don't get confused in unity because they're just called like right forearm and right upper arm so the ones that are connected to your wrists are the targets so this one is the right IK target, so I'm just going to call it that. Select this, this is the left IK target. And these ones are the IK poles, so this is the left IK pole. And this is the right IK pole. And then you just go to object mode like this. Click on a player model and then shift, then the bones. Then you want to do control P, then this little menu will pop up too. And you want to click on this one that says with automatic weights. You click it. Uh, it, it will look like nothing changed, but if you do this, you click that, and then there will be this new one just called pose mode. If you click it and select the bones and like rotate it, you'll see that you can move around the arms like that, as you can see. You can even rotate the fingers. Um, you can move the head that so now it's animatable and it can move around like an actual normal gorilla instead of it like being fucked up in unity and now that you're done you just want to export it so file export fbx and now you can call this finished player model or whatever you want to call it and just click export and once you're done with this, we can go to the Unity project, to your game in Unity. Alright, now that you're in your game, um, the first thing you want to do is right here in the assets, you right click, import new asset, and then you look for the FBX file of your player model. So, now it won't automatically come with the assets that it has in Unity, so you've got materials. Then you click import new asset and then you find all of the images that you used for your player model. So right now I have three of my textures. So now you want to do is you just want to drag them in. Control Z. This will make them into materials. So I will go in this texture. And all of these make sure smoothness is all the way down. Otherwise it will be reflective and shiny and it just doesn't really look that good. So you want to go to back to where you put the player model right here. And then here it'll have this body, face, stomach fur, the things that we did in Blender. So body fur, you just gotta look for it. It's somewhere in here with all the materials. It was this one. Then look for face. Then the stomach fur. Then once you have all of them here, just click apply. And then you go to resources, photon VR, and they're right here in the player. And then it should look like this, and when you want to go back, and you want to drag in the player model. So I'll just do that. It will look, most likely it will look really big, so you just want to scale it down. You don't want to scale it down too much, because if you do, then it just, the arms become really tiny, and it's really easy to get long arms. So I'm just going to scale this up. And then you just want to drag it down. And this part is important. You want to drag the face back like this to where you can see the 
little head of the AR head. Because the bigger it is, the bigger the arms are, so they're not short. And now it should be like this. This is important, the head of your player model. I want to make sure that this part right here is poking out, and so it's not like this, so it's poking out. And you can close whatever you want, but once you're done, you want to drag it under head right here. And you just right click, prefab, unpack completely. You go to armature and then everything's here that you made. And you go to root, left shoulder, left upper arm. You want to go to the hands right here. Don't open them, just keep it like this where it's left hand and right hand. And in the description, there's a paste bin link that takes you to, well, paste bin. And in there, you just copy and paste the code. And this is what matters. You create a script, a C sharp script. And this matters how you spell it. Otherwise, this won't work at all. So you want to type it in as fast IK fabric. Just like that, capitals and everything. Otherwise, this script will not work at all. Then you just copy and paste the code from the paste bin. So the paste bin code, you just delete everything that's in here. That control V or command V if you're on the Mac. And then you just do control S to save or command S. Close, it'll do some loading stuff. And this step matters, otherwise your player model will like just won't move. So on the right hand and left hand, control to select both. And drag the script onto both of them. Then you go to left hand and there will be a target and a pull. Make sure that the target, if it's left hand, right here, this one, it says left hand, you drag it into the target. And the pull is the one that we named the left IK pull, which is this. It was the one that's poking and facing the gorilla. So you drag the IK pull there. Same for the right hand. So drag in the right hand to target. And then the right IK pole, not the target, the pole, the one that was facing the way of the little monkey. And if you've done everything right, just like this, it will work completely fine. So, and to make these black uh, limbs invisible, you just select all of them. They all have this little package icon next to them. And then just click that to disable them. You can save, and once you play test, you get a gorilla rig, gorilla player. As you can see, it works. And yeah, but this isn't the end of the tutorial. There's a important step to actually make the hand feel good. So left hand and right hand. You want to make them face the same way as the gorilla, like that, basically. But this won't fix the weird hand. Uh, it depends on your player model, but for me, if you drag it more down, it starts to match the hand of your actual Quest 2 controller, because if it's flat like this, and your hand's like a little tilted, but if it's pointing down like that, um, it actually matches the rotation of your controller. So mess around with this as much as you can to make it look good. Because otherwise it just is gonna feel weird and it's gonna be a little rotated. It's something that most tutorials fail to mention. It's a pretty important step, otherwise it's the hand is just going to look weird, it's not going to be matching your controller's rotation, so just rotate it until it matches the controller. Um, yeah. Oh, that's fucking weird. Um, hopefully your player model doesn't have this issue. I don't know what the fuck happened. Um, it's a little weird, it's fucked, um, I don't 
think it's supposed to be like that. Oh well, hopefully your player model isn't like that. If it is, then you might have to, you know, restart everything. Sorry, just... Just pray that your hand isn't bent like this. Uh, then scenes, you click play. Play around with the hand rotation until it fits your controller. It does take a while to load in for me, as you can see. As you can see, it follows the little ball, which is your controller. And that's pretty good. You can rotate it, as you can see. You can look around and everything. The next tutorial after this is how to animate the fingers and all that. Goodbye, gamers.